Hi, it's Phil here with Pulse at NAMM 2018 uh, at the Pioneer DJ stand. And we're going to look at Pioneer DJ's new, well, sound to light solution, but it's a bit more than that. Let's, it is, yeah, absolutely. Let's flip the camera and have a look at it. All right, so this is the RB DMX1 box. This is the interface that goes from USB to DMX. This is what takes that signal from record box and actually sends the information to your lights. So let's look in the software here and I'll show you. Recordbox already does your beat grid analysis. Now it's doing phrase analysis as well. So you can see these colored blocks detect where the song intro, outro, chorus, those kinds of things are. It automatically measures the level of energy for the song. And then you've got the ability for it to automatically pick up a lighting scene that suits that mood of the song. You can customize this, of course, but it really makes this task simple. So all of your lighting effects can be beat synced and they line up with the uh, with the music, so if you want to change any of these patterns, you can do it on the fly. And of course, even with the controllers, you've got the ability to do add your strobes, change the color, just through the hardware and software. So all this stuff already exists in Recordbox. We're just now taking it from sound to lighting. Okay, so we've had a longer chat off camera about this because it can get quite geeky, this stuff. So uh, Absolutely. some of the things that are interesting about this, it's like a, another product out there called Sound Switch, which is for Serato. He's not allowed to say that. <laughs> I am. So if you've seen Sound Switch, this is similar, but there are differences. That, um, there's a lot of stuff in here which is just done for you. Uh, so you can just plug it in and it works with what we were saying, 30,000 different lights are out there. Yeah, so the, uh, the, it uses the AltaBase lighting data, database. So all these fixtures are in there. You just search for your fixture drag and drop to an address that you've got your hardware set to and it lights up so it's quite easy to get going uh, as a beginner on this stuff if you've just got a few lights yeah, but the, it's also the idea is that you can just come in as a beginner add your lighting fixtures and your lighting show is there but then you can go to that <clears throat> the advanced level and then go and customize it through the grid editor but also you can use it on your pads so on your pads down there uh, we had we did a, a video on the DDJ 1000 controller also on this channel um, and um, Pulse was saying that you know you've got you can have banks of sample uh, you can have banks of pad functions you can switch banks on that controller here's a good use for that Absolutely. because you can have your lighting on different MIDI banks yeah or well, you're even a separate MIDI controller if you don't have one that's that's set up this way but just assuming yeah. you, assuming you've got a, con a Pioneer controller you can have you know a, uh, eight buttons controlling pink red blue strobes whatever you want Absolutely. and then start to get stuck into the level you want to so <laughs> some serious competition here for uh, another great system sound switch on Serato it's great to see it and it's good to see DJs being able to control their lighting without having a lighting guy or girl there to press the button. Happens for them. in the background. Yep, which is cool. Right, thank you very much for that post. You're welcome, Phil.